morning, good morning. I couldn't find my camera, but it was already downstairs. It is freezing down here, so let's turn on the fire. great day outside today and the Christmas tree ah! it is up if you guys saw the last vlog I kind of just kept it up and I've been turning on the lights because I just love it but it's not decorated yet decorating is still to come that's gonna come in the vlog after this I'm gonna record it right after Thanksgiving but I like to at least like put it on you know what I mean like it's just I love it so much yeah so I got a new tree and since I like needed to take it out of the box and see like what it looked like i kind of just kept it up right like i'm not going to take it down and then put it back up in a week it just doesn't make sense <laughs> so hi guys welcome back to another vlog it is wednesday morning the day right before thanksgiving i'm actually going to be hosting thanksgiving at my house tomorrow so what that means is today we need to do a little bit of thanksgiving prep we need to get this house in order and ready for guests to come over so there'll be a bit of cleaning and stuff today but we are in the middle also of my week that i took off of work you guys this has been an amazing week thus far i'm getting so much done like for instance i did like a massive donations run i filled my car up with like five bags of clothes old Christmas decor, like old just random decor and random things as well throughout this whole house. So I feel like really good about that. Like I feel like I have less clutter. I still wanna do like maybe one more run before my time off is over. But I've also been doing a lot of other things for Instagram um, and for YouTube, a lot of planning, a lot of prepping, a lot of filming outfit reels too, which I'm having scheduled go up for like the next couple of weeks. So follow me over on Instagram if you're not already, if you want some like outfit inspiration, like daily outfit inspiration for just day to day, for holidays coming up, just, you know, like everything. <laughs> and then I've also been watching a lot of movies and all that sort of stuff, but we can catch up on that in a little bit. I just came downstairs because Amazon Fresh was delivered. I ordered some groceries for myself, but also a few things in here that I wanted for Thanksgiving too. So I came down in order to put this all away, but figured I would show you guys first. And then we need to go back upstairs and actually get ready. I'm still like in my pajamas. So I'll turn you around, I'll show you. I love ordering from Amazon Fresh. It just is so easy. It comes right to my door. It doesn't cost anything extra. You just have to like tip your driver, you know? But yeah, it saves me so much time too so this is kind of an overview of everything i got it's a little bit random but um yeah let's get it started so we got some flour because i wasn't sure if i needed more to make the gravy from scratch for thanksgiving i got some mayonnaise and mustard to make um what are they called deviled eggs limes because i might make margaritas tomorrow i got avocados and also some more um, english muffins because i've been really liking putting it on my english muffin back here we have some dryer sheets i actually don't even use these but some of my clothes are becoming staticky like against my body so i know that putting this like rubbing it against the clothes helps the static to go away so that's the only reason why i got them but i also got the ones made for sensitive skin because you know we have sensitive skin over here i got more oatly sour cream for some dip we have cotton candy grapes for the charcuterie board apple for the charcuterie board i got more salmon because you guys know i've been loving that i got some green beans for thanksgiving and same with some carrots uh, more butter just in case i love my brown rice with my salmon and then these you guys i've been so obsessed with them so i got two bags of those i also love these so these are just for me uh chips for tomorrow and then absolutely stocking up on all of my life cereal oh and then yesterday i ran really quickly to safeway and i got pumpkin pie but i also got apple pie 
like Safeway makes the best apple pie. Juan and I are obsessed with this. We get it like even on non-holidays <laughs> and just eat it, just the two of us. So I just got these yesterday. Usually I make these from scratch, but I don't have the time for that. Not this year at least, you know? I wanted to make time for some other things. Okay. Let's put everything away. done I'm just trying to wrap up with my hair I straightened it like a little bit I just washed it last night and then I put in the super shine light like leave-in conditioner from Orbe I love this stuff and then right now I'm gonna go in with the Orbe gold lust hair oil just on my ends because they're looking a bit dry I'll start with just a little bit since my hair is on the thin side I'm literally gonna keep it just to my ends. I really wanna work on getting my hair like in a healthier state because I've been loving growing it out. I'm sure you guys have noticed. Like all of this is my natural and then you can see that the ends are lighter because that's still some of like the remaining blonde hair that I had. But honestly, you guys, what do you think about this? I was thinking about chopping my hair. Like I have an attachment to my long hair. It's been growing really fast because I think I haven't been using hot tools on it as much as i used to but i was thinking about like chopping like a good portion what do we think about this boom you know something just like fresh help to get rid of like a lot of this blonde on the bottom too it's an idea i don't know how serious i am about it i'm gonna wash my hands to get rid of the oil I brought some of my makeup brushes in here because I really want to wash them again. Let's put everything away. Perfect. I need to grab some hand soap to put in a spare bathroom. I noticed that one, the other bathroom upstairs didn't have any soap. Like it was empty. And Juan never grabbed anything. I already was like cleaning a bit this morning. Like the toilets and stuff, nothing exciting. Okay, there we go. This is kind of like Juan's bathroom, which is kind of funny. He uses this bathroom in the morning to get ready instead of being in the master because he doesn't like want to wake me or disturb me because he gets up before me. It's just kind of funny. These actually look a bit tall. Maybe we can fix that. Guys, I get sidetracked. I feel like there's just so many random things that I like to do. <laughs> like, I haven't even finished getting ready, but I'm like, okay, let's get on with everything. Let's get on with random tasks that we want to do. Oops. Should we go shorter? Hmm. What do we think? I need to clean this bathroom. I don't know, I feel like that kind of works. I think it works, we're gonna leave it. Little baby, did you find just a nice cuddly spot? Huh? Hey, little baby, hi. The sun is definitely coming into the office today, but here is the official outfit of the day. I just threw on this cardigan because it is cold downstairs and we're about to head downstairs. So until the fire warms up the place, this is gonna be my outfit for the day. I have to back up in a super awkward spot because there's so much light that I don't think that that's gonna come off right on camera, but this is my outfit <laughs> for the day. Hi, Oliver. <laughs> So this cardigan is one that I just got in from Lululemon. It's in the men's section. I am obsessed with it, you guys. It is so freaking soft. And 
it just like hits in the perfect spot too. It's nice and oversized. I got this in the men's extra small. So I thought it was like just a nice thing to throw on, but I can also like button a couple, tuck it in, like wear it as just like a top too. So love that. Underneath it, I have on the Align bra. This is for the one for C and D cups. It's in the color Java. And these pants just came in yesterday and I already threw them on. They are the Ready to Rulu's straight leg. The straight um, leg length, it is a bit long for my size, but I'm just gonna wear them for now. I'll have to go take them in to Lululemon and get them taken up like, looks like an inch or maybe two, but it's not bad for now. So we'll just continue wearing it and then I just have on my little fuzzy slippers that I love so much. I also ended up getting way more Lululemon things and then also a few things from Revolve 2 and I think maybe something else but we'll do a little collective haul out of here in my mouth in a little bit. I want to get started with cleaning and just things that I want to get done. I made a little list on my phone so I'm looking at it. Let's start downstairs I would say but we need to come back upstairs and tackle the laundry that I threw into the hall so I wouldn't forget. Big mistake I forgot the tripod upstairs. We'll have to manage. I did just get my nails done two days ago. I'm so in love with them as well. It is like a French there. Somehow I turned off autofocus, but we're better now. So I did like a French manicure, but I did a black tip instead of white. Like how gorgeous are these? I love them so much. I thought it was like the perfect thing for this time of the year. And just like the next time I get my nails done, I'll do something like maybe a little bit more festive or Carissa festive <laughs> for the holidays. But really good inspiration. If you guys want to take like a little picture of this and show it to your ladies. Also, I did like a little French tip, so I didn't do it like super thick, you know? And then this is just like kind of like an almond shaped nail too. So those are the details. You guys, I love them. Let's go take this garbage downstairs. Look at me getting distracted from cleaning. So I actually picked up some new coffee table books too, which I'm really excited for. I got this Vanity Fair one. I got this one as well as finally ordering the Architectural Digest book too. I actually wanna open these up and take a look inside. So the sideboard actually came, oh my God. Okay, I need to show you the sideboard in a second. But when I was decorating it, I realized I think I need like just a few more coffee table books so that's why i got these wow history oh my god i love this and this book is massive too let's see what it looks like without the jacket oh wow that's nice nice and black okay Next up, Oliver, what happened to your nap on the chair? Over it? I think it's really pretty, like the spine. It kind of adds like a little bit more color. <laughs> color. Look at this, I could probably get some like sideboard decor ideas in some of these books too. Cute, okay. Love that. I feel like everybody and their mom has this book and I just never got it. But I saw that it was on sale on Amazon, so I decided to finally get it. Oh my, I love this waterfall. Marble Island, that's freaking gorgeous. Things are so colorful. Wow, what a fun book for inspiration. Okay, we'll have to play with these later when um, on the sideboard. And also over here too, because I moved some stuff from here over to the sideboard. And so now this area looks a little weird to me. I did go get these from Crate and Barrel just for this time of the year. 
I thought that they would be perfect and it's like a really good faux too. Needed that because this vase was empty because I moved what was currently in here over to this. So let me show you guys the sideboard. So here she is. Gorgeous. Let me turn on the light. Let me back up all the way so that you can see the space. So we have the living room right here. We have the dining room with the chandelier here. And then this piece went right behind it. So we wanted this to be a true traditional sideboard. So we wanted to fill it with really nice dishes and silverware and glassware. So things to grow into that's not a part of like just day to day use in the kitchen. So for now it's empty. <laughs> we'll have to start the process of looking for those sort of pieces and collecting those pieces to add into here. But I wanted to be able to see the pieces. So that's why I got a sideboard that has glass doors on it. So yeah, this is what it looks like. I got it from Restoration Hardware. It is 80 inches long. They have other options, but we wanted to really fill this space and fill the wall with like a really big piece. So that's why we were looking for this. Also love the black color of it. It's not like super black and it also has like a little bit of a sheen to it, which is really pretty, but I just love all of like these little details on the corners, but then also the handles too. I feel like it kind of like sets the piece apart a little bit. So yeah, she finally came. I finally ordered it and it was really quick. I mean, I ordered it like what, two weeks ago and it finally came, but here's the decor for on top. I was kind of messing around with it. This is like option one as of right now but it will be changing i just wanted to throw some stuff up here this art piece will actually be hung up um, i just need to get like a piece for the back like a wire for the back to hang it so for now i'm just leaning it against the wall this if you guys remember is what i was talking about these little faux green pieces i also got these from crate and barrel um, we're over in the other vase, but then I brought it over here to put in this really pretty vase that I got from Pottery Barn. This is also from Pottery Barn. And then these items I took from the console table over in the library. And then I just threw out some random books underneath. I really love the stacking look and like method. I think it's like really, really pretty. So that's what I was trying to go for here. I, I'm not in love with this, so we gotta definitely switch things up. But for now, I like it and I love what this adds to like the overall space and I love that it's black to help tie into the chandelier as well. So that's what we got, you guys. The place is coming together. I am still looking to get some chairs for right here. I think that that would be really nice too. Oh, also, can I say, I am loving this tree in this corner. Like I know it's massive and it's large, but I really love it. So after Christmas and when we move this back over to this corner, I'm kind of thinking I might need to get something for this little corner. I don't know, I'm really here for it. I just am so in love with how the place is really starting to come together, take shape with like kind of what like I had envisioned, you know? It feels, oh, I don't know. It makes my heart feel very nice and warm. So good sign that I'm like, making all the right decisions and like heading in the right direction design wise especially if it just it makes me feel like that and it makes it feel like so warm and cozy and homey you know enough of all that <laughs> let's not procrastinate any longer and do some cleaning i'm gonna take this off so that i don't get it wet ah dishes <laughs>
So I was cleaning the stairwell and I wanted to show you these <laughs> when I was cleaning out like literally all the closets. In this closet, I found these and I was gonna get rid of them, but then I thought to put them like right here on the staircase and I'm kind of vibing with it. Like I kind of like it. What do you guys think of it? Like the, they do turn on as well. I think that they will still work. I haven't checked the batteries. Oh my God, I've been using it in years. No? I feel like this could set the mood like at night. Like if you have people over and you like want to like light the stairwell. I don't know. Especially like with the lights off. <laughs> yeah, thought it could be fun. So I was gonna keep it here for a little bit and then see how I feel about it. But I got these so long ago. Like I'm not kidding you, like six years ago at Pottery Barn and they're like really nice it's like a an iron like a they're really heavy too i don't know it's like a cast iron or something like that with glass so we'll make them work <laughs> i also have packages i ordered some like little faux christmas trees that look like this off of target i got a three foot one and then a two and a half foot one I thought it would be cute somewhere, so hopefully they're good, but I'll just put them down here until I'm ready to decorate. Ah, uh, this looks and feels so good. The house is never gonna be cleaner. The kitchen is fully cleaned, apart from the vacuum that I'm now charging. Over here in this space is clean. <sighs> and then circling on over to the living room. We're looking good, guys. I mean, I'm gonna sit here today and ruin it, but at least the couch is vacuumed and everything else is like dusted and clean, like all the wood surfaces. The only thing is like this little area right here, which I'm gonna try to work out like right now. And any leftover books, I'll just put over here in the bookcase and then my water. I'm dying of thirst. We need to fill this up. I'm like on fire. <laughs> I'm definitely hot now. Where can I put you so that you can see? I really just want to mess around with the books. Ah, and then we delivered it. little bit more height you know and like it could look cute to put a lamp on here but at the same time it's right next to the dining room with the lights there so I really don't want that I feel like switching those like really helped out and adding just like more height does it not I feel like that looks a little bit better I think I'll keep that for now. I need to move on to this mess. Ah. Now that the sun has officially left the office, let's go ahead and do that haul that I was talking about earlier. So I'm gonna start off with like the things that I got from Lululemon. And then I have a pile of other things over there that I wanted to show you guys. So this is the first outfit. These pants are exactly the same ones I was wearing earlier, just in the smoke spruce color, which I'm so in love with. I was like 
stocking these pants and they came back in stock but you can see how long they are on me again i'm 5'1 so if you're taller than me this would be like a perfect length but for the shorties like me they are a tad long so i'll have to take it into lululemon like i was saying to get the free hemming done on these bad boys but i went with a size two in these and they're just like the perfect fit honestly i used to get these in a size zero and they were just like way too tight and this is like the perfect amount of looseness it's not like super tight and it's like snug anywhere i think it's like really really flattering and this color is just like gorgeous and then up top is the line high neck tank in the ribbed that they just came out in i left the padded the padding in this so that you can see what it looks like with it i always remove it because as you can see or maybe you can't i'm not sure but it gives like this outline of the padding and it's just not like very <laughs> flattering but i really like this this is really um cute like version of the align high neck what color is this i think that this is white opal i don't know the code name for it but of course it'll be linked down below like the exact color that this is but i like the ribs it feels like a slightly less stretchy than the original one but i mean this whole outfit i'm kind of just like vibing with so much oliver decided to join us for this haul <laughs> swapping out the bottoms these are the new align mini flare pants you guys i'm not in love with them i think i prefer the groove pants more besides the fact that they're way too long and that i have to get them hemmed up which i do with the groove pants anyways i think that i would prefer it hemmed because it would take away some of like the flare and it would be kind of like more boot cut but also i feel like the flare starts really late on my leg where it just looks kind of weird like if it started a little bit higher i think i would like it more but i i don't know i think it just looks a little bit weird on me but otherwise i mean i think that they're great they're just a line pants so they fit amazing everywhere else i'm just gonna throw this on over the outfit that i just had on you guys run for this this is amazing so this is another men's find and it's just like this lightweight really fleecy half zip like pullover like it's amazing i love the length of it too i can kind of like tuck it up um like this as well if i really wanted to the zipper is like super long <laughs> that's probably like the men's part i mean i'm sure it would start like here or something if it was women's i think it fits absolutely incredible this is the natural ivory color but yeah how great is it and it does have two pockets on the side they are zip pockets oh it's a kangaroo pocket it goes all the way to the other side nice little fun surprise there but yeah you guys this is amazing it comes in other colors like run for this so switching on over to my next item this is non lululemon now this is actually revolve i got this other sherpa like half zip pullover this one is a lot longer obviously and a lot more oversized this is the smallest size of an extra small so i mean it could work obviously if you're into like the very oversized look especially if you're taller this could be amazing i'm trying to decide if i like it enough to keep it i think that i would like it to like be able to cinch up a little bit so if i wanted to wear it like this like i could you know <laughs> look at oliver grooming himself <laughs> but since i just tried on the other half zip and it fit like a little bit better i'm just naturally comparing it to that like i don't necessarily need to keep both but i love the details on this one like the leather piping and hem details throughout this whole pullover and then it does have two pockets they don't connect they're just individual pockets which is really cute okay next up i have a few sweater options so i'm just gonna throw on a pair of jeans to try out with them so the first is this cropped sweater it is so soft so cozy it's really thick i love the color too i feel like i've been getting a lot of creams and ivories so it was nice to like switch things up and get a gray color this <laughs> turtleneck is like extremely long and large so i had to like fold it over a couple of times so it wouldn't be too much but i kind of like the thick turtleneck and it's really really stretchy so it's not suffocating at all the sleeve length is really nice it is like pretty crop my normal size in this brand is usually an extra extra small but then i saw that if you size up in it it kind of like helps with the croppedness so this is actually in a size extra small and it is still like pretty cropped but it doesn't like go up in the back 
which I like. Um, so if I raise my arms, it will show your bra. So just like a heads up there, but I think it's really cute and it'll look really cute with obviously jeans and trousers, which is what I would most likely pair it with. You guys, how fun is this sweater? I'm so in love with it, which is so unusual for me because you guys know I don't typically do like color at all. But something about it, I love. It is like the littlest bit itchy, but it's doable. Like I can wear it no problem. I absolutely love the whole fit of this. Like I love the crew neck. It's slightly longer, but still a little bit cropped. So it kind of just like brushes right against the high-waisted jeans. The sleeve length is really nice. I did size up in this in a to a size extra small because extra extra small was unavailable. But I'm actually really glad that I did it. It does offer like the perfect fit overall, super cute. Okay, so this sweater is gorgeous. Oh, I love it. So first things first, it's like a really thick, chunky sweater, which oh, I love. Like I just need all new sweaters. As you guys can see, I'm trying to like get some new ones, some different ones. This is another like solid option. The turtleneck is not tight, it's like loose. I also love that this kind of matches this part of it, it's a little bit longer of a crop. The sleeves kind of balloon out a little bit. I love that. The color is gorgeous too. This does come in white as well, which I'm kind of thinking I might need to go back and get. I don't know if I forgot to mention it, but the last sweater is not itchy at all. And this sweater is not either. This is another really cute sweater option that I got. I like this one because it's a little bit longer, but if I didn't want to wear it this long, I can kind of like tuck it up into my bra. Let's if I can do this one-handed. I could probably make it better <laughs> if I didn't do it one-handed, but something like that. So it's like a little peekaboo moment for your stomach. I don't know. I feel like this helps to add more shape to like show my actual waist versus looking a little bit more like boxy and long, but you can kind of like switch it up depending on what you want. I absolutely love the color of it. It's more neutral, but it has like little specks of like other colors in it as well so it's still like super neutral but it's a little bit deeper of a color it's more lightweight too really really freaking soft and another like turtleneck option i think i'm having a thing for turtleneck sweaters i don't know like what that's all about <laughs> but that is everything i think i think so that i wanted to share with you guys that i just got in every single item will be linked down below for you guys in the description so look down there if you guys want to check out any of these items that i mentioned but of course like all the sizes and the colors and everything will be specified down there as well I've been relaxing downstairs I don't even have the TV on I'm just like listening to the fire while I've been like doing things on the computer I have like some emails to respond to and some things to send um, to brands as well so even though I'm like off work work doesn't necessarily like 100% stop there's still like tons of things that I'm doing so I just wanted to catch up on that I'm also like looking at my task list to see you guys I'm just like I'm crazy about to-do lists like I love them they keep me organized they keep me structured like there's not a day where I don't have a list because there's just so many random things on my mind and things that I want to do that I legit don't want to forget anything so I just always have like a running to-do list so that I can keep things straight and then I'll never forget anything and then everything gets done it's kind of an obsession because clicking the little box that says like I'm done with something like I get so much satisfaction with that <laughs> Okay, anyway, so nice and cozy after doing like the try on and everything. I um, I don't know, I just threw on like this oversized shirt. Um, I got it from Elwood. It came in like in a pack of three. You guys, it's like the best shirt ever. It's like nice and thick. It feels like amazing quality. I'm here for it. And then I just kept my ready to Rulu. Um, straight leg pants on so that's the outfit that's what we're doing so i wanted to share with you guys i'm so excited about this this year i created christmas gift guides i've always wanted to do this in years past and i've had you guys be like do you have like gift ideas like lists or like can you do a video and all that sort of stuff so this year i finally did it it took me a few days <laughs> and lots of scouring the internet and sites and everything to make it like absolutely perfect and i created it on my website so another great way for me to utilize my website so tons of fun too because i feel like i'm doing a little like web development sort of stuff so like i'm 
honing in on that skill too and developing that it's it's been it's been fun <laughs> No, it really has been fun. But yeah, I wanted to share with you guys my Christmas gift guides. So this is what she looks like when you go to my website. You can access it from Instagram. I created a highlight there for a direct link to this. Or you can go to chrisaburnside.com. The homepage looks like this. And then directly at the top, it has like a little call out for the gift guides. So you could click on the picture. Or you could click on this little link right here and it'll take you to the site. But yeah, I created different categories. So I have things that are on my wish list. These are just things I can think of right now off the top of my head. But as I think of more, I'll be adding more to this, but also to other sections too. And then I also have like my Christmas decor, which you guys will see coming up in my next video because I'll be decorating my house after Thanksgiving. But this is some of my decor that I love that I use and that's still available online to like link it and all that sort of stuff. I also thought it would be a good idea to create a category for gifts under $50. And I have so many good things on this list too. I'm trying to hit it all. I mean, I have books, I have beauty things, jewelry, candles, bath stuff, also things for like the bar, just really great things for everybody, but definitely gonna be adding more to this too, but I'm obsessed with that list. I'm also obsessed with the list that I made for women or for her, gifts for her. This does include some things under $50 too, like all of these skim things are under $50 and I'm obsessed with these. So I could have done duplicates and put it up there, but I decided just to keep it under the for her section. So just to call out there that some of these things in the individual section still might be under $50 too. Um, but yeah, lots of different like subsections for the for her category too. I mean, we have shoes, we have clothes, we have bags and little pouches, purses and some beauty things too. So that's all of my favorite things, things that are like tried and true for me, but then also a few things that just really caught my eye too. So I'll definitely be adding to that. And then these are things for him. I definitely thought of like, Juan and like what I would want to see him wear or books that he might be interested in that sort of thing when developing this and you guys like look at these slippers are those not like the cutest things ever I love those but yeah just different colognes and shoes and clothes um, for him and then I also have a category for home as well love this category so yeah just wanted to share this with you guys that this is something that I took time to develop specifically for you guys please utilize this I'll make sure it is in the description of all of my videos from here moving forward for the rest of the year and again it's also over on Instagram as a highlight but really easily accessible just go to chrisaburnside.com and you'll be able to get to it I have a cat <laughs> Cuddled up right behind me. My little cutie. Hi, bud. So I think what I'm gonna do is probably look at a few more websites and see if there's additional things that I can add to the gift guides. I'm kind of like a, in love and obsessed with it. So it's just something I'm continuously like looking at because I'm like really proud of it. But it's also fun for me to just go on websites and find things. That's something that I really enjoy doing. Obviously, that's why I have all of this. <laughs> but I was thinking about reading, um, thinking about getting a snack. I also need to pop on over to an Amazon locker and pick up something for Juan. So yeah, that's kind of like what we're gonna be doing for the rest of the day or at least the next couple of hours.
Happy Thanksgiving! We are watching Brazil versus Serbia. Who do you want to win? <laughs> uh, I don't know if I care. I mean, Brazil's super good and they would hurt Argentina's chances, so maybe Serbia in that case. <laughs> we have Oliver sleeping, cuddled up next to me. And it's just mom and I here, chilling, sitting. We're waiting for the rest of the family to get here. Mom had to come over early because she had the turkey. She was responsible for the turkey. She always is every year in bringing it. And the stuffing obviously as well, because that goes inside the turkey. <laughs> and getting that in the oven. What's the ETA on that? It's 20 to 25 minutes per pound. It's 14 pound turkey. 14 pound turkey. So, four o'clock? Four o'clock ETA for dinner. But it's noon right now. We're still the, oh, we're still the only ones here, chilling. We don't need them? <laughs> we don't need them. Tyler, my brother, should be coming like any minute, I feel like. He said 12, it's 12, with little baby Kylo. So we get to see Kylo. Eee! How excited are you, mom? Have you seen him since no. the birthday party? No, you haven't. Mm -mm. Well, I mean, obviously, but I'm excited. How did I do my text yesterday? What time is Kylo gonna be there? Yeah, what time is Kylo gonna be here? Exactly. Tyler is always on time, like always, on time or ahead of time. Yeah. But I think that this is like the first glimpse of life with a baby, right? So maybe they're running a little bit late because maybe Kylo, something with Kylo. Well, it'll also be interesting to see how much stuff they bring. Yes, I was curious about that too, how much stuff they're gonna have. So we'll see. So we have that. My sister's coming a lot later. She's um, studying right now. Um, she, but she has today off, so today is like her only day to study in between working and she's going to school full time right now to be a nurse. So she's gonna be over a little bit later and then my niece, no idea. My dad is coming over with Tyler and then my stepmom is out of town. So yeah, it's gonna be pretty small. It's gonna be so much fun though. Mom was just saying that she's hungry so we should probably start to get together the charcuterie board or make the deviled eggs and stuff too. I have on a super cute outfit. It feels like elevated PJs. <laughs> it's like this whole silk satin, I don't even know what material it is, set. But it has like that, what does he call this? Like a crinkle detail? Like the, is there, there's a name for this. There's a name for this. I have no idea though. But it's super cute. And I love, love, love the color of this. It feels like it's pretty festive. Um, as well, but anyways. Christopher says happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Did I show you the picture that he sent of himself? No. Wow, he looks so much like Randy. Yeah, that's what I thought too. He looks good. Yeah. Does he? Don't you think? Yeah. But yeah, he looks so much like Randy. Yeah. It's crazy, look at all the fishies. I don't know, he's catching. It's kind of wild. So did you text him back? Um, maybe, I don't remember. All right, I got a bunch of random stuff out. <laughs> to do a charcuterie board. These garlic and jalapeno stuffed olives are the absolute best. I have these crackers that are open, so I'm gonna try to use these and see if they're still good. Otherwise, I do have others. Same with peanuts, we're towards the end, but I figured that would be a nice addition. Got some grapes. Mom, these are cotton candy grapes. Have you heard of them? Oh, yeah. yeah. Love, them. love cotton candy grapes. So we need to wash those. I have an apple. We'll wash that and cut that up. And then, I don't know, let's put some carrots out as well. Why not? Because my brother's bringing chips and dip, so people can use the carrots and dip it in the stuff. That could work. And then I have some leftover cheeses of like a smoked Gouda and Gouda that I can cut up, but I have a whole other thing of Gouda that I can use, some salami. I have another packet of that. And then I just got these from Costco, the Beecher's smoked cheese. Love smoked cheese so much. And then this looked good too. I don't know what a Leicester? Le Le Leicester? What type of cheese is that? Lester? Leicester? Leicester. We're gonna go with it. I don't know. I was like grabbing a random cheese at Costco and trying it you know see if it's any good because it has habanero chilies and peppers in it and i love like spicy Ugh. 
cheeses to um, hold the remarks. It's a little rude. God. So we're gonna give that a go and start to cut all of this up. Step one of building a charcuterie board, get your board and get bowls like placed exactly where you want them. And I just happen to put some things already in the bowls. And then I'm gonna cut up cheese, start to place like the cheeses around, and then fill in everything else as well. Hi, Dad. Hi, kiddo. You're making it all right? Yeah. Look at you walk in. Where's your cane? At home. You didn't bring it? Nope, I'll be all right. Make yourself comfortable. All right. Hello. 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 It smells so good. Um, yeah. <laughs> really? Yeah. Great. Must be mom's turkey. Okay. Oh! He's like, I Mom, can't. I was comfortable. He has shoes on? Yeah. Stop it. <laughs> you have shoes that fit him? He's like two weeks old. <laughs> The finished charcuterie board, and then we got some deviled eggs, and then just some chips and dip. So starting small for right now. Love this. Hi, little guy. Ready? Oh. Grab a plate. I'm gonna be sharing. You're sharing. I better get up here for you guys. Hi, what? Is he gonna throw up all over me? Um, before warm. You haven't done it today, but. Well, oh, think about. <laughs> Can't get it off my shoulder. Hmm. You threw up all over me last night. That's okay if you throw up on me. I'll welcome it. It's okay. <laughs> Hi. Are you gonna cry? His throats are un hey! unexpe oh. unexpected too. It's not like he, he sees something happening. He just all of a sudden just. Oh, just kind of like, okay. <laughs> What you looking at? Who used, to, who used to vomit across the room? <laughs> she said I did. Get rid of it overfeed. And you just get rid of the rest of it. <laughs> I did it exactly. We did it all over my dad. The one month. Because you're going to be one month. Can you believe it? Can you? <laughs> How does it feel? How's the last couple weeks felt? It's a lot to take in, huh? It's a whole new world. Don't do that. Okay. <laughs> Your arm fell through again. Was that a laugh? Yeah. <laughs> oh. A new place, a new home for a while. Let me feel alive. Nothing to hold me back. Take my time. Just enjoy the ride I know man passing by Life is good, best I've ever felt Get me up, something new Somewhere I can find myself Oh, I feel, I feel, I feel, I feel so I reach out, reach out, reach out, reach out to the sky. I found my way, I found my way. I was in the dark against it all, but made it through the day. Cause I found my way, I found my way. In bad times, I know I'll be okay. Cause I found my way.
was in the dark against it all, but made it through the day. Cause I found my way. I found my way. In bad times, I know I'll be okay. Cause I found my way. The house is officially empty. Everyone left that was here, and now I'm trying to decide how much I wanna clean up tonight versus waiting for tomorrow. Um, my family did help me like with loading the dishwasher, which was great, but I think it's full, and then there's still like tons of dishes left over, and then I need to finish carving off the turkey so that I can put some um, in the refrigerator for leftovers. Ah, <sighs> much better. What time is it? Almost eight o'clock. Okay, so I have time to still do some things, but I wanted to get this video edited and get it up for you guys tomorrow morning for my Friday upload. So I'm gonna go ahead and end off the vlog here, obviously, but I really hope that you guys enjoyed watching and spending the last couple of days with me and spending time with my family as well. I hope you guys had such an amazing Thanksgiving with your family, with your friends, with your loved ones in your life. I am so thankful for every single one of you. This year has been absolutely incredible and i wouldn't be anywhere without you guys so i love you guys i appreciate you guys so much and i will just see you in a couple of days in my next video bye i found my way in bad times i know i'll be okay